<laughs> Happy Mother's Day to you. <laughs> Say I'm grateful for not anything but everything. Every loss I had to take, I took it on the chin. So what's goody, what's goody, what's goody, what's goody, y'all? So what y'all doing? Let's all say it together. Shit. <laughs> so guess what we finna do? We finna go outside with Tanya. Y'all see my ears. I'm finna just try to do it a little bit, right? But we finna go outside with Tanya, y'all. Y'all ever um seen, you know, Chicago steppers. So we finna go, Tanya know how to step. I never knew how to step. I don't know how to dance. When I used to be dancing when I was younger, you know how uh when you be a kid and you be dancing and your mother, your mother wanna brag about you to all her friends, you know, where they sitting there listening to Richard Pryor. Um when they sitting around listening to Richard Pryor. And uh, who else used to be out back then? Not just right now, I can just think of Richard Pryor. When she used to have all her company over there, they be jamming out they dusties, you know, chilling, smoking they little joints. Uh, drinking, you know, the high-end liquor, my tails, and Hennessy and stuff like that. You know, my mom used to be like, she used to call my brother, come up, come in here and dance for me. My brother used to be break dancing, doing all his moves. She never said, she never said, Tasha, come in here and uh, dance for me. So I used to, I used to just jump in front of all her friends to get the dancing too, right? She, it, it never gave. I knew how to dance. You know what I'm saying? It never gave what I wanted to give. She used to be like, well, Tasha, bend your knees. Oh, this something my eye. She used to be like, Tasha, bend your knees. Bend your knees. I used to be trying my best to bend my knees, y'all, boy. I must have had some, I must have 12 years old, had some kneecaps of a 97-year-old. But, but let me tell you, I, I, I probably danced like this, y'all. Look at me. Look at this. Look, look at this. Hold on, y'all. Somebody call my phone. Hold on. Okay, y'all, before we was rudely interrupted, right? That, that was this guy I met in the gas station, but I don't really want to pop off the subject. So let me stay on the subject because, you know, my menopause be making me look like I'm slower than I really is because I be talking about something and then, then I start talking about somebody else and the person probably be over there like, what the Is that what? <laughs> but look, y'all, I finally went back and got my vitamin C. I was so excited to open it, y'all. I done stripped the thing, I think. Yep, I broke it. I'm trying to twist it out, making sure I can take off the safety seal. But that's what I get. But if y'all interested, it used to be in a different bottle. Well, unless it was a different kind. But I know I was using some vitamin C on my face. And I really like how it make my skin look. But that's what I was saying, y'all. So my brother used to come in there like, pop, lock, and drop it. I come up in there like, he used to pass it to me in front of my mom and her friends while they all... Uh, intoxicated, singing and stepping and having the time. And I used to be over that smiling. Pass it to me. Pa look, look at every bit of them. So right now, today, 40, 50 years later, your girl still can't dance. I be more like the hype girl for all my girls when we at the club, right? I be the one, uh, when they be dancing, dropping their love to the floor, I be like, go, Nene, go, Nene. I be geeking my girls up, you know what I'm saying? Because, baby, it's giving two left feet over here. So, y'all see me with my Michael Jackson glove. Baby, she take care of her skin, baby. Baby, I'm moving up, y'all. I'm getting a little more, more and more uh, skincare stuff. So, what I was saying, we finna go meet Tanya. And go to the steppers place. Okay, I know we're supposed to say his name because of what he did dating younger people. But y'all know the song, Step in the Name of Love. Y'all know that's really like for Chicago. So if they allow me to get some clips, I would love for y'all to see how Chicago gets down and how my girl gets down. I never see the step, but uh, I know how them, them places be where we going. Excuse me, y'all, for having my ass closed, baby. I'm, I could do two things at one time, baby. So, uh, it's, so if they let us, if they allow me to take y'all with me, cause y'all so deep in six thousand, y'all, they might, we might fill up the club. They might don't even let all us in there. You know what I'm saying? But if they do let us in there, we gonna definitely have a good time and enjoy y'all But I haven't had no makeup in. Fruit weeks, fruit weeks, y'all. 
But I think it's about that time, y'all. The soap got in my mouth. So I think it's about that time. But y'all, before we was rudely interrupted, y'all, let me tell y'all who, who rudely interrupted us, right? I met this guy today in the gas station. So we ain't gonna call him gas station because I already got one named gas station. You see what I'm saying? So we gonna call him. He hop out the car. I'm gonna tell y'all what we gonna call him. Give me a second so I can just go on with my little story. So he hop out the car, right? He hop out the car, y'all. He uh, he was selling, you know, liquor. He was selling bottles, right? So he hop out the car. He was like, uh, give me 15 for it. I was like, boy, it's 15 in the stop. So he hop out the car. Ah, my eye burning again, y'all. What's wrong with me? So he hop out the car, y'all. If I say he hop out the car one more time, y'all just y'all just log off at this point, cause honestly. <laughs> But y'all, I got this at the dollar store. I think I know what I'm doing. What? I don't even know if this go like that. Y'all help. This wanna look better. Better don't look like what I've been through. But even if, okay, let me go back to when I was used to dance. My mom used to be like, bend your knees, bend your knees. Oh, Tasha, you so stiff. <laughs> you know how hurtful that was for my mom just to tell me. Y'all, I'm hoping, I, I don't know where this go, y'all. This pipe. I, you know how hurtful that was for my mom to always call my brother to dance and never call her daughter. Oh, Tasha, move on out the way. Let him dance. Let him dance with my friend. <laughs> I never, I never could dance, y'all. But baby, is this gonna make me sit down? Uh-uh. Not at all. Gonna always be somewhere trying to shake a tail feather and have a good time. You feel me? We already got enough, enough on our plate not to have a good time, but. Y'all yeah, excuse me, I keep spitting because that's so but in my mouth. It's probably trying to tell me something. But y'all, let me tell y'all what we gonna call the one we met at the gas station, y'all. So I met him at the gas station. He had liquor. I would have called him, I would have called him bottles. Something like that, right? But this man hopped out the car. And y'all don't be all soft and tell y'all watch my videos. Y'all don't want to be liking it and stuff. Taking everything to heart. You know what I'm saying? Y'all quit being so mushy over there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he uh, he hopped out the car. I don't know if I seen his face first, his body, or his navel. This grown man hopped out the car with hernia. Man, I ain't got nothing against you people with hernias, man. My homegirl got a bigger hernia, and I keep telling her to get that stuff out. She rather wear uh, all type of waist trainers to hide it. And then when she get an in intimate with her new friend or somebody new boo, she like, surprise! So, but he hop out the car, y'all. So we gonna call him. Um, We gonna call him. Did I break it when I dropped it? Okay. We gonna call him, um, umbilical cord. <laughs> I'm screaming laughing. We gonna call him umbilical cord. So, umbilical cord just interrupted us. Not saying I won't date a person who got... What? I must have messed this thing up, y'all. I dropped it in the last time I was talking to y'all. Oh, no. I don't even see that much smoke coming out. Help. Look how it's coming out, y'all. Look. Hell, what happened to you? Oh, no. Nah. So, look. Umbilical cord tell me he from, uh, like DeKalb, Illinois. That's a part of, you know, you know, I see. He, he told me he's from DeKalb, Illinois. Oh, here we go, y'all. It had to boil like tea, baby. This a teapot, baby. Y'all remember I used to be, uh, use the teapot to steam my face, baby. You know me. I'm from the hood. I'm going to try it out. Uh, so, umbilical cord, he told me from, like, DeKalb, Illinois, or something like that. He said, I stay. I'm about to get ready to get back on the road and go home. But I stay if you make it worth my while. 
So, I don't understand what he meant by that. What do you mean? What do you mean? Because uh, I can make it worth his while. You know what I can do for him? <laughs> you know? I can check him to the emergency room. <laughs> and we, and we, get him, we get him back there. And they, and they, uh, they help him get that big old uh, hernia up out of there. Cause, if, if, how old you be when you get it removed? If it ain't if it ain't life threatening, do we just leave it alone? So, how old do we be when we just get it removed, or we just learn to live with it? You know, I've been learning to live with little stuff too that's been wrong with my body as well. So I can't even talk. I've been learning to live with this old busted implant. So what we gonna call me? Deflation. <laughs> Airbag, they say. <laughs> Airbag, it is. But um, y'all know me, baby, baby. You know me. I talk your edges off. So okay, guys. I just want to hop on and tell y'all. Put that ish on. I might don't be that fat because, baby, I need some new clothes. Timu just had my order on hold. Tell me I ain't verified in the email. A lot of the time I'm thinking my stuff on this way. They done refunded my money. I ain't even know it. Man, I'm mad at them. So mad at them, y'all. Y'all remember I was using this menopause uh, skincare cool mist? I don't think it's going on your face, but hey. We finna go outside and enjoy yourself, right? And uh, hope we have some fun. But y'all, some of this stuff just be all in funs and games. Or maybe sometimes I just might be telling you all about the experience I went through. And I can't get mad if you can't relate because everybody ain't go through all the hell I went through growing up. You know what I'm saying? And don't be mad because I'm cracking jokes on somebody who got got no uh, hernia. Like I said, we call him umbilical cord. I'm about to go ahead and throw this makeup on. I ain't want makeup. I think all maybe all April. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And then it's what, like May 7th? Something like that. So it's okay. It's all right. But I'm going to try to sit here and put on my makeup and play with my edges. And we're going to go. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all shortly. Let me get myself together. Try to do my edges. Try to look presentable. We supposed to be out the door at 7. It's like I just got out of work. It's like 6.40. That means you ain't washing up or something, sis. <laughs> Please scrub a dub dub and that tisses up. But all right, y'all. Oh, y'all, this is another thing. Okay. From this point on, I would be calling myself, I guess, okay, either T Baby or Bossy, right? Because when I first started doing YouTube, I felt like I'm old, I'm a granny. So I call myself y'all grandma. But one of my subscribers said she in her 60s and where do she fit in at as, as me calling her? I'm her grandmother, right? <laughs> and she younger than me. I mean, you know, she older than me. So, but I really like to call y'all my grandbaby. So, I guess that might, that ain't sit right with her. And I want to make everybody comfortable over here. So, I, uh, been calling myself Bossy Tasha Simon, but I don't want to be introducing myself that long old name like that. Hey, I'm Bossy Tasha Simon. So, since I'm manifesting what I want in my life, I'm going to just call myself Bossy. So, welcome to Bossy Channel. If you've never been here before, I'm Bossy. I'm the one with the beat on the track. I'm the one with the... But y'all, I will really talk y'all edges out so y'all can be my 20 twin twin. So, before y'all let me do that, let me go on and get ready for my girl Lee me. And, um... Hopefully we look like something. So I'll see y'all in a minute. 
when I tell y'all, us old people is outside, this mug is booty clapping. You hear me? This boy booty clapping, baby. Baby, I be, I be in the bed at 8 o'clock. It's 841, baby. I'm missing out on living, baby. I thought when I turn 50, baby, everybody be, that's 50 be sleep, but that ain't true. That is not true, baby. Baby, the 50 and all is outside. With that retirement money, they got that real money. They got that bag. Let's go. Let's go see who holding that bag. But my past, things I used to do, the games I used to play, the girls I didn't last. I know what's on your mind. You think I'm doing wrong. Can I see what is real? You are the only one that tried me. Me talking crazy, I Need you all in my space, but I need it, baby. I'm late, but I still can check in with you. I'd put a string of pearls right in your hand. Make love on the beach of jet black sand. Outside in the rain, we can do it all night. I'll touch all the places he would not. Some he never knew would get you high. Nothing is forbidden when we touch. Baby, Baby. did I wanna do all the things you may do? Your friends told you that I'm a selfish man, one my cake and need it too. Maybe in my past, but you changed me now. Now that I've learned to love, it's you that show me how, baby. I'm talking crazy. Need you in my space, but need it, baby. I'm late. I still can check in with you. Oh. I'll light all the candles all around Show me to the subway, I'll go down Nothing can be sweeter than the sound of making love Baby, when I start, I just can't stop I'll love you from the bottom to the top Nothing is forbidden when we talk Did y'all enjoy watching the steppers? Did they big one? Did they big one? Um, did y'all like the land dance? Yeah, cool. Okay, so uh, I was dancing with the guy I had on. A, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more rugs, no more rugs. 
No, Pink, you don't know when it's no is no. No more rubs. Not right now. Um, so it was uh did y'all like the line dances? They did good, right? But the guy that I was dancing with in the blue, he he, he was kind of some guys is kind of, I don't know, like he was mean. Like he first of all, he was talking to me for like 30 minutes, never once offered to buy me a drink. Or never offered to buy me, uh, do I want something to eat? He was drinking on a beer and he had a little cocktail. That right there, I just feel like it's, it's just only, I don't know. I just feel like it's courtesy to ask somebody do they want to drink or you, are you hungry? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's, it, it probably me. I still got a lot of old school in me because I'm old school. But I just feel like if you sit down and you a man talking to a lady for like 30 minutes, it just seems like it's only right. You would say, babe, you want a drink? You know what I'm saying? But, okay, so I think his name was Bobby. Bobby. We gonna call Bobby uh, Mr. Attitude. Mr. Attitude had the nerve. We walk the pairs. He don't know me. We walk the pairs. I'm over there trying to go, you know, catch the people doing the land dancing and different things. It, it, the men in, a, in that type of environment, they ask the lady, do they want to dance? Bobby didn't offer me no drink, but that don't mean that the next person who was offering me to dance wouldn't offer me a drink. You see what I'm saying? So Bobby ain't offered me no, I mean, what we call him, y'all, Mr. Attitude ain't never offered me no drink. So as other men coming up to me as I'm walking towards the dance floor, they like, you want to you wanna dance? You know that, like I told y'all, I don't dance. I'm like, no, no, thank you. He was like, don't talk to him. He be in here trying to talk to all the ladies. Mr. Attitude, Mr. Hater, that ain't none of my business. Why is you telling me this man business? This man thought that I was nice looking enough or was a woman that he wanted to have a dance with. Mr. Attitude. Then I'm, we walking again. Somebody else, you know, offered me a dance. By this point, he trying to hold my hand while we walking like, we together, sir, be nice. Knock it out, be nice, Mr. Attitude. Then as we stayed around and walking, another young man says, young lady, would you like to dance? I'm like, no, no, thank you. And uh, I was like, I really don't know how. The man was like, don't worry about it, I'll lead you. You know what I'm saying? You'll be good. You know what I'm saying? Are y'all too far back from me? Do my breath stink or something, y'all? <laughs> well, come closer. Come closer. Pink, enough. Pink want to be rubbed. Baby, Pink wants to be rubbed. Okay. So, y'all closer now. Yeah. Get over here. So, Mr. Attitude, we, we, I'm going, I'm trying to just, you know, get the feel of the club, you know what I'm saying? Tanya was sitting there over there eating her fish and fries, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just walking around, I'm trying to get with the vibes, and I got all 16, I got all 6,000 of y'all with me. We trying to see what's going on up in there. What, is it booty clapping or not? You feel me? Here go Mr. Attitude. Stop paying, please. Here go Mr. Attitude. This other man said, young lady, would you like to dance? It's just being, they just, at that age, they just gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? They gentlemen, they been, been through life. You know what I'm saying? And they, when they was coming up, men opened up the doors for ladies, you know. Uh, women reached over to help let they men in the car. You know, it was just, you know what I'm trying to say, y'all. You, 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 you follow me. So, here go Mr. Attitude, y'all. Is y'all too close now? Okay, y'all. Y'all can see my forehead. My edge is gone. You want me to scoot? Y'all want to scoot back up off me? Yeah, scoot back up off me, y'all. Back up. Back up off me. Okay. I think that's it right there. Y'all, yeah. Yeah. You know. My uh OCD or something might get to kick it in with y'all. We y'all that close to me. You feel me? Um, shoot. We need to stay six feet apart like Kobe. No. <laughs> I was just kidding, y'all. Okay. So, here go Mr. Attitude. Another young man asked me to dance. 
He said, nah, nah, she don't want, she, she want to dance. Mr. Episode, you don't even know me. Why you being like that? And he was like, hey, the nigga lucky I ain't, uh, like I used to be. Um, cause I, I, uh, I would have knocked his ass out. He a cop blocker. Has he a cop blocker, sir? We not together. I came up here to meet my girl Tanya Not you. I don't even know you. Like, be nice. But that's the 411. Let me just think of something else that happened. Oh, I seen my friend up there, y'all. Now, when you go up in this club, you get him $5 and they give you a, 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 a ticket. Kind of like a little raffle ticket or something. Look, you know what I'm saying? Look. Yeah, a little raffle ticket. They give you that because you get fat ass off your drink. So you pay fat ass to get in. You get fat ass off your drink. So basically, you ain't paid nothing. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm at the bar. I bump into one of my friends that I was talking to y'all. Let me tell y'all, this man money long, y'all. Money long. He got five miles of riding. His money long. I just ain't like him. It, I think he was too arrogant for me and I was too hood for him. So I see him. I'm like, hey, good to see you. You know, hugging him, whatever. I, he, I was standing in the liquor in the land to get a drink. He said, come here. Uh, I was like, here, get it. I said, give me a drink. A Casamigos, uh, a nail or something. A Reposado or a nail. So I was like, could you grab my girl one? He go my ticket and he go $10. I, I'm thinking it's a, a, a little shot couldn't be more than $15. He said, keep your $10. It ain't good with me, but I ain't about to buy a bitch shit. Yeah, y'all quiet too. You see how quiet it is here? That's how it was when he said that I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. You really not bad. Nobody nothing. I'm giving you the tea and a little ticket thing. If you didn't want to buy her a drink, you was buying my drink. You still could have gave it to the young lady because you got a, a cool bond with the people up there because who you are. You know what I'm saying? Who you are. You know, you the man. But for you to be the man, that's how you look at us women. That's how you look at people. Nobody eats my I don't drink. I never asked you to buy my girl a drink. Can you pass the young lady the $10 and the coupon since you already getting me a drink? I don't know, y'all. I just feel like dating ain't for me right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, just living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. You got to think about it. God that blessed me with 50 years. That's half of a century. I don't want to spend my other 50 years worrying about where my companion is. Everybody get lonely sometimes, but to be honest, I don't know if it's my menopause. I'm really happy. Only time I feel like I need to be dating or in a relationship when I kind of hang out with my girls and they be with their guy. And maybe some nights, you know, or maybe sometimes you want to just go on a date with that special someone over and over and over again. But... If I could just be honest, I'm kind of happy that I don't have to deal with somebody asking me where I've been, uh, how long I'm gonna be gone. Just I, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on the Lord. He's gonna send me somebody who matches my flag. But um, right now, I just don't want to spend my other fifty years. Even giving up, you know the rest. I just got out of work looking a popped mess, a hot mess, baby. So we about to go up in here in Rainbow and get us some new undies because for the spring season, just period, I needed new underwears. So I threw away about 13 pair. The bras needed thrown away. Like the wire was bent all up from the dryer or oh, the washing machine. I don't know which one it was. I really believe it's the dryer. The wire all bent up. Some of the wires coming out where it could poke you in your breast. Uh, 
Oh, I, I, I look like I wore the, you know, I, I was wearing the brown more than I was wearing the undies. Start off as a matching set, end up, baby. Baby, don't know where this one at or that one at. Just only kept wearing what I washed and put it in the front of the drawer. So now that I decluttered, I got rid of all the, the undies that needed to be thrown out. Um, it's, it's time that we... Oh, I, I made the new drawer full of nice little undies. Save what could be saved. So now it's time to re-up on something. So let's get ready to go up in rainbows. It's raining here in Chicago. So let's get ready to go up in rainbows. I'm just going to spend a high 40, y'all. Because when I go up in rainbows, that better be in one of my favorite stores. I could see me now picking up. Matter of fact, I'm going to take 50 just to, just to play. I got this high 50. I'm going to... Uh, I don't know what this little dude on. I don't be liking how little dudes be looking in Chicago. I got to pray for him, baby. But some of them be looking very much suspect. <clears throat> so we got this little high nifty. And we finna go on up in here and um do our big one. We finna um see how many underwear sets we can get for $50. Hopefully $40. My, really, my goal is $40. So... See how many we can get for this high 40. And let's try to pick out some spring colors. I really want to get new black and white because I could wear that more. But it's it's spring. Uh, May showers. We probably need some little color in our life. So, okay. Let's go. Happy Mother's Day. All I had stopped at Walmart to give me some more panties and bras, y'all know we had to do a new stock up on undies. Okay, y'all, so I've been asking people questions like, how do men feel about a, a, a alpha female or a female who try to talk to them first? So I'm gonna ask him, what's your name? Keith. Keith. Keith, how do you feel about females that if a female came up to you trying to talk to you first is that attractive or you, it's not attractive would you rather would you rather try to talk to her first actually it really wouldn't matter to me but because i'm in a way i'm a little shy so that would open me up to her to speak even more okay so so you would date a woman who if she came yeah, up to you first Okay, and what do you think about alpha females? Are they masculine? Or not all are they time. too independent? So you dated a masculine lady before? Masculine? No. Okay, what really is considered like a masculine lady? A lady who like be taking out her own trash and things of that nature or no? I don't consider that masculine. That's more like independent? Independent. What is a masculine lady then? Consider that as it's in your eyes. Uh, too aggressive, like always want to be like physically aggressive. Okay. And not mean, not sexual, but will challenge you in a fight if it came down to it. Okay. That's, okay. That's Thanks for taking the time to speak to my channel. What's your name one more time? Keith. Say back, Keith. All right. Well, baby, baby, baby. People coming over to get it at a more. Okay, guys, we're still in Walmart, and I found this handsome young man. You married, right? I see that nice ring on your finger. He's married, so I want to ask him the same question. Um, what's your name? Okay, here's Robert, guys. Say hi to Robert. Okay, the question is, will you date 
a, a lady who came at you first. That's how it is. Is that is that attractive or is that a turn off? It's attractive. I mean, I ain't got to do all the talking. Oh, for real? Okay, okay, okay. And that means she know what she like, right? Okay, and my other question is, what is considered a masculine lady? You got to speak up a little louder too for me, Rob. What, what's considered like a masculine lady? Ladies that take out the trash and things like that? Um, to me, it ain't no such thing as a masculine lady because a lady is a lady. Okay. Whether she act like a man or a woman, she's still a lady. Okay. So, ain't no really no masculine lady. Okay, she's just like maybe independent and too touch right. and too in touch with her her masculine side yeah. or something like that. Okay, I appreciate you, that, but there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, how long you been married? Seven years. Seven years. Congratulations and happy Mother's Day to your wife and your mom. Thank you. Love you. Okay, guys, we still in Walmart. I'm speaking a little loud because y'all know they play music and I don't want to get copyright. But I found handsome of Alonzo. Of, I found handsome Afonso, and I'm asking him the same question I asked the other two men. Let's go. Will you date a young lady who can, tried to talk to you first? First say hey to YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Okay, now would you talk to a lady who tried to date you first? Would you, would you date her if she, you know she came at you first without you coming at her? Like, like, yeah. it, she pretty to you too. Yeah, you a Tata? Because is it like, do you believe in like it's a man job to come at the ladies? Have you ever dated a girl who came at you first? Okay, so that's okay. Okay, and do what do you consider a masculine lady? Uh, you gotta speak up a little loud for, for the. A girl that smoke weed and party every day. Um, a girl that smoke weed and party every day. She in too much. Be on the block. Be on the blocks and outside. Yeah, yeah, she is. That will be more masculine, right? You're not into your feminine side, right? I love you, Afonso. Hey guys, I found another handsome young man. His name is Jeremy. We about to ask Jeremy the same question. What's up? Jeremy. Would you date a young lady if she tried to talk to you first? Yeah. So that's not being considered being masculine? No. She just know what she want? I mean, that's, that and, I mean, she seems what she like, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, okay. And what do you consider a masculine lady? I mean, masculine could be like, over aggressive. Not even over aggressive. I don't know. I can't, masculine mean, Yo, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's one of the things you can't explain. Okay. But, man, shit. Trying to outdo, outdo you. I don't know. Oh, no. I okay. Can't really tell. Well, I thank you, Jeremy, for speaking to us. Mm -hmm. Happy Mother's Day to your girl and your mom. I ain't got no girl. Well, happy Mother's Day to your beautiful mom. All right, you too. Thank you, Jeremy. Right. Thank you so much. Hey, guys, on my way leaving out Walmart, I stopped Johnny. He fanned in the motherfucker, y'all. But let's ask him the same question. Say hey to my channel. Hey, channel. Hey, what's up, y'all? Okay. Would you date a lady that tried to talk to you first? I would. You would? I would. You would. Okay, and would you date, like, is that considered masculine? No. Okay, it's uh, not. What is it considered? She know what she want? More than a confidence thing. Confidence thing, okay. Um, in conversation, you can see if she on some real crap, if she's genuine. And it's, if, it's, if it's really for you. Right. But, uh, well, nah. Okay. I'm actually, uh, I've been approached several times. I know, because you're very handsome. You very handsome, so you gonna get approached a lot. You, you so yeah, you are. Thank well, maybe you. to me, cause everybody got their own. Um, it's broody in the outer beholder, but Correct. to me, you very handsome. Thanks. So, what do you consider a masculine woman? This just got deep for a moment. I'll make it fast. Um, a masculine woman. That varies. Um. Be a push over with a position. Okay. Uh, 
I know on a roll, and that varies too. Uh, not knowing a man or a significant other she decides to pick. Okay. Should gender preference. Okay. Not at one with a feminine. That's what it is. Okay. So far as like taking out trash, pumping her gas and all that, is that independent or is that being masculine? That's somebody who hasn't been around with another man to take out the trash and pump her gas. I love you. Thank you so much for speaking to us. What's your name? One more time. Johnny Wright, Mr. Wright. We love you, Mr. Wright, because your damn show ain't wrong. <laughs> I love you, Johnny. Give me a hug. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to you. <laughs> Okay guys, it's the very next day since I had went to Rainbow and got some undies. So, uh, let me show you guys what I purchased. I purchased this bra from a little sad store bag. I have, y'all remember in my last vlog, I had uh, threw away like 13 penny and bra sets. They was Mitch and Mag, the wires in the bra, this was all bent all up from the dryer or the washing machine not really sure um it just was time to throw them away so these was a pair of new panties that i had my these victoria's secrets my daughter had bought me these for christmas i had them ever since christmas never worn was constantly wearing a, you know how you go do your laundry and i pushed the clean clothes in front of the old clothes instead of front it you know what i'm saying pushing the clean clothes the ones I just washed to the back and rotating them, uh, the ones I didn't rock wear to the front. So that's how these got overlooked. But I ended up getting this bra just to, just to wear with this. These are Victoria's Secret and this bra come from the little neighborhood supermarket. Okay, up next is, uh, I went to Wally World. I got these at a Walmart. Do y'all know Walmart got a whole section full of bras that's $5.00. This color pretty out. This brown, baby, this eats down. And um, I just got these uh, little panties out of uh, Walmart for three dollars. They're not exact match, but this brown is so different to me. I never had brown undies before. Okay, and then I um, it should look really good. I just went and got a wax. It should look really, really good. I should appreciate my body more. Um, so I got this one out of Rainbows. Um, uh-oh, uh-oh, hold on, y'all, trying to figure it out. Okay, I got that one out of rainbows, and this, y'all, rainbow panties be four for ten dollars, one pair is two ninety nine, and I think the bras be five ninety nine. No, the bras be six ninety nine. These are two ninety nine, and um. You could get four undies for 10 at Rainbow. They be have some pretty spring colors. Some all type of set, y'all. So, when I was in Rainbows, I had picked up these black pair of underwear. You could never go wrong with nude and black and white. And then I had got the bra. They didn't have my size bra in Rainbow. So, I went a couple of doors down and got this bra out of Walmart. Again, the bras in Walmart are $5. And these sexy undies are $2.99. Moving right along, I got this white bra because you could never you could never have too many white bras because the straps be on pressed on your skin and be looking all dirty and dingy even when you wash it all the time. It still just had that under here little color. So it's just time. I said this year, every time I buy something, I'm throwing some away because I'm type that hoarder things. I have these panties like no, nah, I ain't gonna throw these out because I could wear them with that other bra that's got the silver in it like no it's time how are you welcoming new things if you don't want to let go of the old things so it just makes big piles of stuff that you'll never wear so i feel like if you being selfish you don't want to get rid of the old and you study asking god for new why would he bless you if you don't want to be a blessing to somebody else not buy his underwears guys you know we got to toss these out we can't take these to catholic charity or nothing like that but you get what i'm saying so, and I, my daughter had bought these also for Christmas, so I'm really like four or five months behind, and I never got the weddings, but these are extremely cute. They got the little stars on there, and I got this bra out of Walmart for $5. 
I really need to go to Victoria's Secret to somebody measure my cups because I definitely know one is bigger than the other, but just to have the right cup size and the right size in the back. You get what I'm saying? That we we lose where we gain weight, so I'm sure we lose back that we gain back that. So I really would just like to take the time to get measured. So in my free time, I'm gonna go to the mall, back up the Victoria's Secret undies, and have them measure my do my measurements. Last but not least, I got this uh, uh, undie set up out of rainbows. Like I told y'all, undies is four for ten. Um, and if you bat together, I think it's like two for ten. So these really are two ninety nine, and the bra is five ninety nine. These are some spring colors, guys. Declutter your uh, declutter y'all undie drawer, y'all, and tell me about it in the comments. Guys, throw away some of your old boxes and your old briefs and your old um, lounge loungewear. It's a new season, guys. We want nothing but newness to come our way, nothing but blessings to come our way. So out with the old, in with the new.